It's time for my annual rummage around the attic for old junk to give people at Christmas as new gifts, so why don't you join me for a dusty adventure? Let's see what we've got. Ah, the old Lego train. This really was my prized possession. Oh my goodness. Still works. Good to have something like this in these uncertain times. Wow, look, my earliest content. I made a bunch of comedy radio shows when I was small. I, I better take this down to make sure it's destroyed. I think this is a Resident Evil spider. I'm gonna bring that down for Halloween. Poor Jim. I think the 90s might have been the only decade where snot could be a character. As in, just actual snot with a face. Done. Yeah, I'm confident I won't be bringing any CDs down. Tool is now available on all the hottest streaming services, so snap all your lat lat er alus discs. Ah, the old one bar electric heater. Ideal for warming up your house by burning it down. I once toasted a pair of socks on this by mistake. T Square Squad, where are you at? Let me see in the comments. This is a nice frame. Would it be sacrilegious to rip Mary out of this and stick a Char's counterattack poster in instead? It does look a bit haunted. Oh, we got old school books here. To get us interested in Irish, this book has an essay about Arnie in it. Arnie Moore. On Will Ciadagum Dulgaji on Arnie Moore. And one of the new ones is called End of Days with Arnold Schwarzenegger. How many remember Arnold? He's back. Oh yeah, this is when STDs became STIs, which is one of the earliest trendy rebrands that I can remember. This diagram isn't very inspiring. The water passage is inside the penis. The testicles are inside the leg. Meanwhile, the ladies have a vagina. Well, look, it's none of my business. <laughs> yep. I wrote corn on my English book using a lens flare for the O. That certainly is a moment in history captured, but not tamed. <laughs> oh, boy, I wish I was still this funny. Oh look, I drew my girlfriend instead of learning about governments in the 18th century. The new Christian way, which is apparently everybody getting along and caring about the environment instead of shareholders? What a bunch of hippy dippy bullspit. See, at this point in time, Irish schools still all were technically Christian schools, but there was an effort to appear more secular, leaving us with these weird middle ground books that were like, hey kids, maybe God isn't real, and that's a perfectly valid position, but also, Christ died for your sins, so show a little fucking respect and get married. Think of your ideal partner. What qualities would you like them to have? Imagine you have £100 to spend on those qualities. Okay, let's see. £25 for a good Christian feels like they're pricing themselves out of the market. Good with children is only a tenner. For £5 your partner could have music fame or collects teddy bears. This is all very strange. Especially when true love is priceless. What do you think God is like? Does God exist? Well, just take a look at that and tell me. Uh, what would you tell me? Um, I mean, it's really nice, but I mean, we do know how this happens. But then again, maybe God wrote the, wrote the playbook, you know? I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I mean, if you know, let me know in the comments. I don't know. Do we have... A... I don't know. But it would be nice to think that someone... Uh, or maybe maybe it's better than we. Do you know? I, I don't... Is, does God exist? Did, did God make this? Did God make this? Obviously, the chances are high for any object up here being haunted, but... Without a doubt, there is a soul trapped inside every one of these slides. I'm not embarrassed by my school books having corn written on them, but I am embarrassed by my imported Region 1 Scrubs DVDs, because I just 
Had to get scrubs as early as possible. Look at all this Trigun. Trigun and scrubs, that's how I spent the only money I had. Not a future proof investment. I never played copy of the countdown board game. I think it's broken. Here's the first of probably 50 copies of Advent Children's strewn throughout the attic. Apparently I needed a steel book so that my DVD would last forever. That's my gift to the people of 219. A stamp collection? With stamps? Hmm, someone must have really liked those Swaziland stamps. Oh, I haven't seen these in a long time. This was how I knew Disney stories. I read these long before I saw the films. Look at how smug Mowgli is. Oh, Lampwick, you little shit. I noticed Bambi's mother simply stops appearing in the story at a certain point. No explanation. Though there is this, which may look tame to you, but this was Apocalypse Now when I first saw it. Maybe it's the angle of the sword, but it was the most brutally violent thing in the world back then. People always worry that the next generation won't grow up to be tough enough, but four-year-olds today are watching Logan Paul yuck it up at corpses on YouTube, so that's progress. Hello, an old record? The House Martins, When I First Met Jesus. Wow, that's quite a name drop. My very first terrible attempt at model building. I can hear my Gumpla laughing at me from here. If you wanted to get Super Tanker up and running, you needed four AA batteries and two chodes. More like Super Wanker. What's inside the Murdoch box? Oh, it's a Mega Drive 2, which I am tempted to throw into the water tank so I can get some Sonic curry fresh from the tap. Lots of home videos full of precious memories and footage of me ordering Scrubs DVDs while listening to Tool. Hello old friend. You got enough Trigun to read up here? I like your carrot paws. Yet more Advent Children shame. It's my fault there's a fucking spinning bike in the remake and I'm so sorry everyone. Who wants to play Bop It? Nah you're grand. This might have been the start of my Owen buys a game before realising nobody else is interested curse. Still, what did I expect? Bop it parties? <laughs> what have you got there, Owen? Oh, nothing. Just a humble Titanic toy for the bath, you know. But what if... Ah, Owen, stop! You're breaking it! Not so. What? That's right, the Titanic is back, and it's got axes. Incredible. And definitely not alright. If you're ever asked, what were the 90s like, just tell them, lizard full of sand, or lobster full of sand. This is what it was all about. Some people will try bring up Kosovo, but no, it was lizard full of sand. Ugh, Lenore. God, what a load of shite. They made money printing this. From me? Look, there's a thing and Lenore kills the thing. She kills it, look. Rubbish. Now here we go, Mr. Bean's scrapbook. Quality tie-in to a quality movie. I mean, you could say that this is just 90% stills from the film, but oh, hello. I mean, that's good stuff. Yeah, this is coming down with me. My cousin gave me this big box of comics, which, sorry if you're watching, cuz, I never read. Let's take a look anyway. Hmm. This is rude. I had no idea there were images like this up here. And so close to the water supply. Interviews from the set of Highlander 2. Big smiles everyone. It's gonna be great. Manga mania. Lots of Akira, lots of lines. Metal and lace. Battle of the Robo Babes. Give your joystick a thrill. They're saying you can wank to it. You see? You can wank to it. I'm learning a lot about my cousin today. I don't know what or who is inside this bag. I think I'll leave it. My god, a Den magazine from 1994. 
The Den was an Irish children's program where people and puppets shouted over one another in between episodes of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. No, 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 no. Oh, the only way. Oh, no, On the highway. Zig and Zag Comics. A negative review for Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Saki's page, as useless as expected. Customize your shoes. Your parents will fucking batter you. What do kids want to read? A Garth Brooks fact file. Ah, uh, Farthing Wood Friends. I liked it because I liked animals, but in retrospect it was the worst show to watch if you liked animals because it was basically a fatal gauntlet run. A 3D poster. I'm falling into the image. Ah. I'll be the first to say it. That's poor from me. That's that's not good. <laughs> right? Clearly, clearly to Joan. I think Joan has had it with children and their sloppy handwriting. Only issue 33, and Joan is fucking done with you little clowns in your crayons. It felt cool to buy Mad Magazine, even though the reality was it was just 90% pop culture that I didn't even know. We dump on the Taco Bell dog. I had no idea what that meant, but I had to assume that this dog had it coming. It's just not an attic without a remnant of some long forgotten dream, is it? All that's left now is the dark side of the attic, which I don't really want to explore because someone did actually die in this attic, which is something that I try not to think about too much. It's mad that someone's final moments were spent in the same place which is now used to keep old Scrubs DVDs and wanking comics. People die everywhere though, I mean, someday I'll die and eventually the same space will be occupied by Fortnite magazines and Funko Pops and that's just how it is. Anyway, let's take a look in this big steel box. Mm, I can't really see. I'll just have to reach in and feel around. Huh. An old red book. I wonder what's inside. Oh, sorry about that. Where was I? Hmm, nine minutes. Let's just take a quick look down here. God, it's so dark down this end. I'll, I'll have to use this. I don't know if you can see that. Burning my hand here. Hey, what's that? What is that? Ah, for fuck's sake. What? Hello? Hello? Was that the fucking door? Oh my god. Oh my- Hello? Hello, can you hear me? There's no fucking handle on this. Oh, jeez. Hello? 